Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bara habita fillah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us in you forgive us in you guide us in you Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen I wanted to talk about something the importance of following the son of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from one of the athar of our salaf uh, from Imam uh, Baba Hari rahimahullah ta'ala which comes from his text Shara Sunnah, which is any, uh, a, a very important text for us, uh, as with all the texts of Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. Uh, and, and there's some just important um, issues that have to do with minhaj, with methodology of how you approach Islam. It's a methodology of, of Islam. That's what we're talking about. And this is the context I'm using the term minhaj, because I'm talking about the minhaj of Ahlul Sunnah. And why it differ? What makes it different from a lot of these other manahid, these other paths? So Imam uh, Baba Hari, rahimahullah taala, he said, "Ilam." He said, "Ilamu an al-Islam huwa sunnah wa sunnatu hi al-Islam, wa la yukum ahaduhuma illa bil-akhir. Faman al-sunnah lazum al-jama'ah, faman raqiba an al-jama'ati wa farqaha, fakad khala." رِبْكَةُ الْإِسْلَامِ مِنْ عُنُقِهِ وَكَانَ الضَّالٍ مُذِلٍ uh, Imam Baba Hari rahimahullah ta'ala, he first he began by saying, uh, you know, no, so this is in the imperative form, he's, he's giving you a, an order, he's saying no, know this, know this, be certain about this. And this is how the Imams of the Sunnah were in a lot of their texts, that they were they were sure about their Aqidah. They didn't allow the people of Bid'ah and innovation to come up with the Shubahat. They cut the heads off of the Shubahat, of the doubt. They cut it off with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Faham, with the Faham of the Salaf of this Ummah, because they were the Salaf of this Ummah. So he says, and know that Islam, it is the Sunnah. And Sunnah is Islam. Wala yukum ahaduhuma illal bilakhir. And one cannot be in place except with the other. Now that right there is something minhajiyah. If we reflect on that, that ibara right there, just that, and that's the whole reason I wanted to even speak about this. The rest, mufid jiddin. Well, I can here, right here, this is the shahid. He said. Islam, it is the Sunnah, and the Sunnah it is is Islam. Why do you think Ahlul Sunnah is always saying that the Sunnah is why? This is the reason that we believe the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is binding upon us. It is the master of Islam after the Book of Allah subhanahu wa taala. So that's why we say Kitabillah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam. This is what we say. This is what we say is, is our masdar, our minhaj. That we go back to the book and the sunnah. And that which we don't find in the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we go to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned to, I believe it was Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu in going to Yemen. He said, you know, how will you judge? He said, I'll judge by the book of Allah. And he said, and if you don't find it in there, he said, then I'll judge by the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And if you don't find it there, letting us know that even that in those times, there would be Masail, you know, everything wasn't just like a computer. And it, you know, just came out with the answer, oh yeah, the Quran said that it's not quite simple. It take Ijtihad, it shows us the authenticity of Ijtihad, of thinking about these Masail and striving to get a hukum based on the book and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf of the school. So, he said, and if you don't find it there, then he'll say, you know, basically I will use my, uh, you know, I'll use my, my intellect. You know, I'll make ijtihad. I'll strive to make a judgment based on those masdar. So that means, that doesn't mean because you don't find it in the Quran and the Sunnah, that you just, you leave it, you, you just come up with your right, totally your opinion, and that has nothing to do with the book of Allah. Going against the Book of Allah and going against the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that means you're always restricted with that path. And that's what I want to say, Habatifillah, is it's about Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's why Ahlul Sunnah is vigilant about being, you know, trying to adhere to the to the uh, uh, the Sunnah of the Prophet Alaihi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And why we why that's so important. Why it's so different from a lot of these contemporary individuals. For example, there's a guy I think he's in Canada, who I don't know if he studied. 
but he talks about uh, you know a lot of hadith in Bukhari he can't accept because and listen to his illa here's his reason they go against uh, you know women's rights they they seem degrading to uh, women they appear uh, so he's using his intellect and his intellectual his uh, his contemporary um, his contemporary way of thinking and his paradigm his way of his outlook those things which he finds value in to make judgments on whether a hadith is authentic or not going against the whole science just taking the whole science of hadith throwing it away this is what we have to watch why it's imperative to learn a religion adhere to the book adhere to the sunnah and the madhab of the salaf because that's aslam wa ahkam it's it's more it's safer it is it has it's based on more knowledge and wisdom and righteousness and everything good and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabina muhammad